So now that the fret is leveled and crowned, I'm going to go ahead and polish it using the tracer fret eraser system. So this is a great, uh, great system for fret polishing. It's a, uh, a handle. Uh, it's got rubber on the sides that come to a nice point so you can get right down in the corner of the fret uh, and get all the way down on the edge. It's a concave, concave surface so it cups the top of the fret and really gets a good polish that way. And it comes with four different grits of micro mesh. Um, so you labeled one to four. So you start with number one, which is the coarsest, move up to number four, which is the finest, and it will really polish the frets out to a mirror shine. It's super easy to use. You just slide the handle open and then you slide the micro mesh on to the handle and then the rubber retracts and tightens up the micro mesh. And then you use it just like you did with the uh, S file. You just put it on the fret, move it back and forth and polish the fret. So now to polish the fret out, you'll use your tracer fret eraser and a grip guard to protect your fretboard. And you'll just put the grip guard over your fret, protecting the fretboard and then just use your tracer fret eraser to go back and forth across the fret. You can get right down against the fretboard, really go over it well to get that thing nice and shiny. Then I'll go up to my next fret, which I also crowned, my fifth fret. And lastly, my 17th fret. All right, now over to number two. Now, if you have a guitar like this one that has some other fretware and some flat spots and stuff, uh, you're probably going to find that the frets that you worked on are the best looking frets on the guitar. Uh, but, you know, this guitar doesn't really need a full fret level right now. You know, this guitar is going to be fine playing until it actually needs a full fret level and dress. And at that time, then you can go in, you do the full fret level, full crown and polish, and then all the frets will look amazing. Actually, what I'll do after I finish up uh, finish up with these three frets, I'll uh, get out my Music Nomad frying fret polishing kit, and I'll go over the rest of the frets, and they'll they'll gleam like these do. They won't be as nicely crowned, but they'll all be really shiny and look really good. So uh, you will have done a really good maintenance um, project on your guitar, taking care of some fret buzzing issues, got some high frets leveled down, and made everything look nice and shiny. So now let's clean off my fretboard, take care of any. So whenever you do clean your frets, polish and crown and everything, you're going to find that there's going to be just a little bit of fret, fret dust alongside the fret. So like I said, a little bit of a F1 oil alongside the frets is going to clean that right up. And uh, you won't, won't be bothered by that at all. Main thing is when you're done with this, you can sit back and look at it and think, that was a job well done. Want to make sure everything's really pretty, really shiny, really clean. Okay, now I'll string it back up to pitch and I am done with this guitar. So as you've seen on a guitar that has a couple of just localized, obvious fret buzz issues, um, a leveling, a spot leveling is really a good way to go. Since, they, since the other divoting and flat spots weren't causing any playability issues, a full fret level is really not necessary. So it would have been a lot of extra time for not a lot of extra uh, result. So using the U files, the S file, and then the tracer fret eraser made quick work of those high frets. And now this guitar plays cleanly everywhere. For more videos on how to perform guitar setups or care for your frets, subscribe to our channel and visit musicnomadcare.com for all our products and how-to videos.